Welcome! This is a brief tutorial about the mechanics of using the Digital Discovery Bible program. Let's get started taking a look at how to use this software. As you open the program, you'll see four panels. Each has a title telling you what that panel contains. Let's start by looking at the upper left panel, that is, the Bible window. It's important to know that the program's default is set to the New American Standard Bible text. With the corresponding interlinear Bible in the upper right panel. And with the two Discovery Bible reading features displayed. This can easily be changed to the King James Version by clicking here. Notice how the interlinear Bible changed to coordinate with the King James Version. Also, the third Discovery Bible feature that is the Golden Concept Words, known as the Helps Word Studies, a devotional lexicon, can be highlighted by clicking here. For easier reading, you can enlarge the font by clicking on the View button and then zoom in. You can continue doing this until you reach a size you're pleased with. You can also maximize any of the four panels for easier reading. Additionally, you can change the proportions of any of the four panels simply by hovering the cursor over the vertical or horizontal line until you see the double arrow and then dragging it to a size that you're pleased with. A helpful feature is the print option. Each of the four panels can be printed by clicking the File button and then choosing which panel you wish to print. You can print the entire contents of that panel as it's displayed or narrow it down by page count when your Print Option window pops up. To start, you need to type a scripture reference into the search box. You can type in an entire book like James or an abbreviation like JAS or JS. Most standard abbreviations are programmed in. When you click enter, you'll be able to now read the whole book of James. You can narrow your search down to a specific chapter like James 2 or a specific verse like James 2.17. If you type in a specific verse, the paragraph in which that verse is in will be shown. We believe it's best to read any passage in context, and the paragraph is probably the smallest unit to catch that context. Now let's go back to the beginning of the book of James and take a look at the three distinct Discovery Bible features. These three key elements are what sets the Discovery Bible apart. There are three items that are not easily shown in any English translation, yet are often critical to a fuller understanding of the sacred original text. In other words, there are things the original Greek readers could have easily grasped, yet they get lost in translation to English. The three features are the emphatic words, the different verb tenses Greek has than English, and the subtle nuances of the words themselves. The two features displayed in the default are the reading features. That is, something easily caught just as you read along. They are the emphasis and the different Greek verb tenses of the original text. The emphasis is pointed out by the use of highlighting and underlining. The verbs are flagged by the use of eight special symbols. All of these are clickable. A description is given in the bottom right panel of what these symbols point out. How these elements impact understanding of a passage will be discussed in a later video. The third key element is a Bible study feature. It's the golden concept words shown by clicking here. This highlights all the words discussed in detail in the Helps Devotional Lexicon of Word Studies. The highlighted words are those which have beyond translation nuances that impact greater understanding. You'll see even small words like when in verse 2 is addressed in the Helps Word Studies. 
Some of the discussions are more than 50 pages long, especially when theology or doctrine are involved. In order to help you work your way through these longer entries, you can click on Choose a Heading and see what options are available. Clicking any of the headings will take you to that particular point in the discussion. For example, let's click on the word bond servant, and the article on that word, Strong's number 1401, appears in the bottom left panel. Now let's click on Choose a Heading, and then let's pick the eternal significance that goes with slavehood to God. You'll notice that a percentage appears at the top of the article. This tells you what point you're at in the discussion. If you find something you wish to refer back to, you can make a note of where it was in the article and return later, simply by scrolling to that percent percentage point. All three Discovery Bible markings are also embedded in the interlinear Bibles in the upper right window. Just click anything you may be interested in and watch for the two bottom windows to respond. Now let's take a look at the bottom right window. Click on the home icon and you'll see a table of contents appear for this section. Please take time to read through some of these articles and get a fuller idea of what the Discovery Bible is all about. If you click on the concordances button, you'll see everywhere the word you're studying in the bottom left window is used throughout the New Testament. This changes correspondingly to which translation you've selected the NAS or the KJV. All the scripture references are hot, so go ahead and click on any reference and you'll be taken to that Bible passage in the upper left window. Last, if you click on the search button, you'll see a note letting you know that you can search this entire Discovery Bible software program for a topic you may wish to investigate. Just type in the word you want to study in the search box and hit enter. The results of your search will be in the bottom right panel. For example, let's put in the word fear. This program is still in process and our wonderful programmer, Dr. Ulrich Sandborg Peterson, makes improvements as his schedule allows. Please check for updates from time to time by clicking on the help button at the top of the program and then check for update. Now that you know how to investigate your way through the Discovery Bible software, you're ready to start reading through first century eyes and discovering things previously out of your view.